Hi guys, welcome. Today I'm going to be testing out two more Armor Detail Supply products. Uh, so the first is Shampoo Plus, the second is Amplify. Shampoo Plus is their shampoo, which is supposed to be a, uh, like a car pro reset style shampoo. So this is pH neutral, safe to use on all types of coatings, sealants, waxes, does not leave any behind, does not leave behind any unwanted protection. Amplify is a spray detailer, which is also considered their drying aid. So we're going to be using both of those. You're going to see me use two foam cannons. This one has wheel in it. Uh, wheel is mixed 50-50 with water. This one has shampoo plus in it. Um, this cannon has 150 milliliters of soap to 850 milliliters of water. Today we're obviously washing the 2024 Clubman, which I really, really enjoy. The car only has about 2,000 miles on it. The whole front's PPF'd. I ordered a JB4 for it, so that will be here shortly. Uh, so wheel is a wheel cleaner. It does contain iron removers. Um, it doesn't necessarily say that you can foam it, but I do like to foam wheel cleaner. So we're just kind of testing it out here. You are supposed to allow this to dwell for a couple minutes um, and not use direct sunlight. So I'm trying to get this done before the sun comes up. And you can see with the wheel cleaner, we do have some of that pink iron removing action. And you can see the darkness dripping down on the wheel and running off of the side of the tire here. So it does do a great job even when it's foamed. Like I mentioned in an earlier video, I did order a gallon of both tire and wheel. Um, I'm gonna be keeping those as part of my uh, regular setup going forward. Um, I'm gonna use up all my brake buster and my Shine Supply Wise guy and then just permanently buy the Armor products. Um, you can see the wheel cleaner is even breaking down uh, tire dressing on the tire. So it does do a good job of that. They have a specific tire cleaner, which I think is a little bit more aggressive and might do a better job. Um, but for regular maintenance washes, you could probably use the wheel for both. We use that with a uh, kind of a touchless method and it did a great job actually. Um, there was quite a bit of, uh, there was quite a bit of brake dust on the front brakes. This has uh, four piston Brembos from the factory and they generate a lot of dust. Um, even on that car, which has different pads, which are supposed to be better. Um, there's still just a lot of dust generated. So next we're gonna use the Shampoo Plus. We're gonna foam the whole car. As you can see, the, uh, the foam is really thick, um, shaving cream style foam. I could probably do a little bit less dilution in this, which brings up a conversation around cost, right? So I normally use GSF. GSF is about 80 bucks for a five liter bottle. Um, a five liter bottle, I normally mix 150 milliliters with the rest water. So, you know, it's about a 15% dilution. Um, if this could do 10% because it's producing more product or because it's uh, more concentrated, then even if this is the same cost, it actually ends up being a better value because you can use less of it. This is the Microfiber Madness Deli pad, and I truly don't see a reason why they offer two different pads. Um, I realize this one came out second, which is probably more the reason, but if they have one that's designed for delicate paint, then why would you want to ever use the one that's not? Um, I don't think that this performs any worse than the standard um, Incredipad, which they've had for a long time. Um, so I do really enjoy using this pad. 
Um, I bought five of them when they first came out. And honestly, um, anytime I need new pads in the future, I'm just gonna pick up more of these. This is my first car that I've had uh, PPF done on. Kind of the first car that I deemed worthy of it. And I will say it adds a lot of peace of mind when you're driving it down the highway. It has like no chips on it. Um, so I did the front of the roof, the A pillars, the hood, and it's done really well. Uh, to talk about the products a little bit more. Um, so the Armor Shampoo, I like it. Um, it's got a great slickness. It's got a good scent. Um, I think it's definitely a viable option. Um, I don't know if it unseats GSF. I think that I could probably take either one of them and be happy with them. It definitely does a great job and it's a good experience using it. Like most pH neutral soaps, it doesn't seem to be really breaking down the bugs and stuff. Like you can see these bugs here, like there's nothing running off of them. Now this mirror is PPF'd, so I can kind of scrub at it a little bit and get them off. But this is not an aggressive soap. Um, it is designed to not break down your coating and to not leave your car uh, stripped of its layer of protection, which I appreciate. Um, this car hasn't been washed in probably three weeks, maybe a month. Not that I don't care about it. I just haven't had a lot of opportunity to drive it. So based on that, I haven't really had to wash it because it really hasn't been dirty, but drove it a little bit yesterday. I think we're going to take it out today. It really is a fun car. And Jessica describes it as zippy. She said it's the only way that you could describe the car. So just trying to keep it nice. The Honda has a couple months left on the lease and then that's going to be turned in. But for now, the Honda is kind of like free mileage because I have a 36,000 mile lease and I only have 23,000 miles on the car and I only have it for like eight more months. And it's going to work out that my residual is about what the car is worth. So it makes sense to just turn it in and walk away. It'll be a good, a good car for somebody. I haven't had any issues with it, so. I'll do a whole video on that when it's time. Like I said, it's got a surprising amount of foam. I wasn't really expecting that. Um, you know, I figured doing the same dilution as GSF, I would end up with about the same type of foam. Uh, my Canon that I'm using here, this is the MJJC-S, which it's not my favorite Canon, it's not my least favorite Canon. I think it's a good Canon, but I have like five of them and they all have different chemicals in them and that happened to be the one that was empty, so it's what I used. It has a uh, 1.25 orifice in it. I'm using a Krenzla 1322. This is Crystal Serum Light topped with XOV5. The, uh, like I said, the front half of the car is PPF'd, but it's the same coating combination over that too.
All right, so this is the coolest part about a car with a coating on it, drying. Check out the difference here between the hood and the windshield. I think that's a pretty pretty good example of why the ceramic coating is great. So as you see the amount of water here, there's very little. There's some that's here, a little bit right there, but you see the windshield. Now the windshield's not coated, this is. And the difference is pretty remarkable. This is a rag company gauntlet. It's their medium sized gauntlet. I think it's like a 16 by 27. Um, so I'm just gonna, hit kind of the heavy stuff with this really quick and then we'll go back with the drying aid and the towels over my shoulder which are the rag company ftw which apparently used to stand for for the window and then they changed it to for the win because they found that it worked well on everything and it is one of my favorite towels interesting side effect of a ceramic coating is use way less towels when drying your car if you use the blower first that is uh, just because there's way less water on your car when you actually get to it get the door jams quick amplify you're supposed to spray on your drying towel wipe off one panel of the vehicle at a time so that's what we'll do Again, rag company, FTW. This does contain some ceramic. So like most ceramic based products, you'll want to make sure that you get it all off. So you don't end up with streaks. But it is not a ceramic coating. It should not be considered a ceramic coating. It's a, uh, sacrificial layer if you will a uh, something to get worn off so that your coating does not with cars it always seems to be about layers of protection i've got a metal panel that's protected with primer and then that's protected with paint and then that's protected with uh, ppf and then that's protected with a ceramic coating and then that's protected with a ceramic topper and that's protected with a drying aid and it definitely gets ridiculous this layered system but once you get it on there and you kind of get a rhythm to it it makes the car way easier to maintain it makes the washing experience way better. This car is way better to wash than the Honda, which has no coat on it. I feel like I should have embraced wagons a little bit earlier in my life. Missed opportunity. This is technically my first wagon. The, uh, before this, I've had a lot of SUVs, and I think that that's probably from growing up in the Northeast. A lot of people have SUVs because of the ground clearance for snow. A lot of people can only afford one vehicle, so they can't have multiple. But for somewhere like California, SUV makes hardly any sense. Unless you need the towing capacity, which most people don't. Or you plan to go off-road with it, which most people don't. 
so I think wagons. are actually pretty cool. So, experience test driving this Mini, I think is what changed my mind actually, because we went and we drove a Countryman, and then we drove the Clubman back to back. And after the Clubman, we both pretty much immediately hated the Countryman because this felt like a longer Mini, and that felt like your average SUV. It's just really not very Mini. It doesn't have the handling. So, Amplify works well. Um, I think I like the OG drying aid better than this one, just being honest. Um, it's not a bad product. It works well. Um, the OG drying aid has a little bit more slickness to it. Probably just contains a little bit more ceramic content, but this goes on well. It, uh, it's got a good scent. Sprayer works well, like all the other Armour bottles I've talked about. The experience is good. You know, again, I keep coming back to this idea of if you want a full line of products, something where you could just buy one of everything from a single website and check them out, I think that Armour is probably one of the best that you could check out. Now, that being said, I'm going to do a lot of detailing supply testing this year. Um, <clears throat> so right now, obviously wrapping up armor, I have, um, white diamond, which is from Belgium. Interesting product line. I have, um, Koch Kemi's blue line, which is like their, uh, kind of home or prosumer line, not their professional line. It's really just a dialed down version of their entire line to like the eight or nine products that you need. Um, I have Monkey Head on its way. That's a, a new launch. And I have Renew, R-E-N-U, on its way. So these are all products that I'm interested in testing for one reason or another. Uh, so I'm going to be going through them. Probably going to do White Diamond next. So I think that's all for today. Um, that wraps up the Armor Detail Supply line. Uh, well, the washing line. I do still have their coating. I do still have their wheel coating and I do still have their panel prep. I will use all three of those in a future video. I'm doing new tires for the gray mini. Um, they're actually here. I just have to get them installed. So I'll do the wheel coating after doing the tire installation. I'll get to use the panel prep as part of that. I'm going to apply their ceramic coating to my gray mini as well. So there'll be a video on that that you guys will get to see. But overall, I've been really impressed with the line. I've liked their packaging, their pricing is good, their shipping is good. Um, they tend to have a sale going on most of the time if you follow them on Instagram. There is a link in the description. If you follow that, it will give you 10% off of your order and gives me a small kickback for you placing an order. So it is one of the ways that you help me to support my channel. Like I mentioned, I have a couple other product lines that are coming up in the future. White Diamond will be next and we're just going to kind of go through some of those. I'm going to put in some other videos in between, some audio stuff, some house stuff, you know, just a couple other things to mix it up and not have it be the same, you know, detailing supply videos over and over again. I think that that's going to get boring for some of the viewers, but yeah, I mean, I really like the armor line. Um, and I think it's a great, a great product line for somebody who is looking to just buy from one place, get 
a full line of products that are designed to work together, not have to think about, oh, is this wheel cleaner better than this wheel cleaner and you know all these different things and just buy from one store. Um, they don't have too many products. They don't have too few products. I would really like to see a rinseless. Um, I'm sure they're coming out with one. I, I heard they're coming out with one in one of the interviews that they did on YouTube. Um, so I'm excited to try that out when it happens. And when it does, I'll, I'll get it and I'll test it out. Uh, but, you know, I think the king of rinseless right now is DIY detail. Um, Ivan LaCroix just, that's, that's what he does. Rinseless is what he does, you know, and uh, they've really spent a lot of time and money developing that procedure. So anyway, I think the, the products speak for themselves. Look at the car, it's, it's awesome. Um, and uh, every single one of them has been a pleasure to use. And I definitely wouldn't hesitate, you know, if you're out of your favorite product and you can't, you know, maybe it's not available or you just want to try something new, um, order something from Armor. Like everything they have is great. I wouldn't even hesitate to order a gallon size of anything that they make. They're all great products. So thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.